What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Natural, and you already know it's natural, baby. Enjoy your motherfucking self. I already know where I'm from, 219, and I'm here with 21 questions. All right, Miss Natural, what is your real name and age? Oh, Lord. I am 31 years old, and my name is Ariel. But I like to call Ari, because then people be thinking, oh, you the fish. But I guess I can say that now, because she black now. So... <laughs> Where are you from and what area did you grow up in? Oh, I am from Gary, Indiana, of course, where Michael Jackson is uh, born and raised. I'm from Glen Park, full tray on the motherfucker west side. What high schools or no, what schools did you attend since you're from Glen Park? Whew. So I went to Franklin Elementary, I went to Franklin, Melton. Then I went to Emerson for dance, which is a visual performing art school. Um, Emersonian. Why y'all say it like that? <laughs> Every time I hear Emersonian, that's just how funny as fuck. So I'm Emersonian, they so proud. No, I am proud. No, I'm don't get me wrong. I feel like when it comes to the most proper schools in Gary, it's the top three. Okay, you got Emersonians, mm -hmm. Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. Horseman. You think horseman? Them horsemen motherfuckers come out. West side people come out too, but they more on the I was about to say cougar. No, nah, I wouldn't put them at four. You would? Yeah. I wouldn't put them on the horseman. And like Lou Wallace, they have no school spirit. My mama went to Lou Wallace. Do she have I mean, a Not no, she's been in Arizona for the hmm. past twelve years. See the Roosevelt but, motherfuckers, they fought for their schools and I get towed down. That's why it's deemed a historical landmark. I mean, they bees. What the fuck you want? <laughs> <laughs> they buzz in they old business. <laughs> but they like, fuck that school. I got what I need to get for that motherfucker. <laughs> well, uh, next question is, uh, how did you get into VPA Visual Performing Arts? So, Gary, Indiana, of course, we have, for those who don't know, we have a, I don't know if we got it anymore, the community channel. We still got it? Yep. Oh, 21. okay. Yep. Yeah, Channel 21. Huh? I'm on there as well. Ah, oh, for real? I ain't watched that damn channel in so long. But they played Emerson's shows and shit. And I always caught it with them at the end. So this particular day, I was just stalking the shit out of that motherfucking channel. And finally started from the beginning. And I'm like, this motherfucker is Gary for real? I didn't, I ain't believe that shit. Told my mama, beg my mama, like, please, please, please figure out where this school at. And she got me my audition for me. And Emerson is not based off of you have to know how to dance when you get in there. Of course, you got to have rhythm, but they mostly wanted to see that you have the potential to warp your motherfucking mind in what, the, what they needed you to do. Because at first, I was like, what the fuck did I get myself into? No, for real. I mean, mama, I've used muscles. My feet didn't look like this, okay? They got swole over the years of me doing ballet and standing on my toes, all that shit. So I yeah, definitely, I was just about to say that shout out. I always shout out Mr. Brewer, Miss Davis, Brill Berry, Amansu, Davana, Miyaki, everybody that had something to do with me getting to at the level I'm at now. Uh, talk about your childhood and what it was like growing up in here. I really didn't have a bad childhood at all. Of course, I ain't had no like silver spoon in my mouth, but my mama made sure that, and my mama worked. She's an EMT. She worked in a trauma unit on fifth. So y'all know how her days was like. Um, my daddy, he wasn't, he wasn't around like that at all. So I mean, it was mostly me and my brother for the most part. And it was just us against the world. I mean, of course, I had my little slip-ups and fuck-ups. Like, I had an abortion when I was, what, 15, 16, or whatever. Yeah, I see you uh, talk about that on the... Uh... Jocelyn shit. Because yeah. I felt it, it wasn't like Big Lex was doing it for 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? She kept going on and on. Even though know, we cool now, whatever. I got respect for it, whatever. But we not to call you up. Just yeah, my... just casual. Exactly. So... 
But at that time, she was going, they was going at it for them an hour or two. And I couldn't take it no more, so I said some shit. Like, not the, this, she's not the only person that you're offending. You know what I'm saying right now? Like, you gotta be respectful and mindful who's around you. and Cause you don't know what that person going through at the right. end of the day. And I was fucked up in the head at that time. Right. So to this day, I always be like, I wish I had my older son here. Cause I was five months pregnant. I knew I was having a little boy and everything. Wow, so that that's kind of interesting cause I guess not to say you were in the same position that because you were a young woman, right? But that's almost the same thing that the other girl on the show did. Didn't she say she was four months? And then the girl said double homicide. Yes, well. So. So I guess did that kind of hit home for you? Like, hold on, bitch. Right? It hit all the way home because I didn't have a choice. You know what I'm saying? So my mama made that choice for me, <clears throat> which still fucks with me to this day. And. Her, she, I, I respect Aqua, man, I don't fuck with her, but I respect her because she knew that she couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers like, oh, bitch, you killed your babies and da 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 all the time, oh, everybody don't deserve kids. But when the person who know they ain't ready for it take that precaution to go on and terminate pregnancy, then they become a That ain't a motherfucking bad guy. You ain't shit. You ain't this. You ain't that. All I can say is, if you never been homeless, if you never had to get it how you live, besides selling pussy, I ain't talking about just selling pussy because everybody be, girl, I have to do this and do that. She want a cookie? Fuck. So what? But I feel like you just can't say shit about shit. You cannot have an opinion about it. Yeah, it's an opinion, but at the same time, bitch, it don't matter. Like Sometimes motherfuckers need to learn how to shut the fuck up. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that's how I felt about the one girl. I'm talking about I get it off the counter, not off the floor. I'm like, what? The, what, the white chick. She kept down and everybody saying, oh, I don't do this. You know, I'm not a dancer. You know, I get my money off the dress. Oh, you talking about vibe? I just didn't like that. I felt like, girl, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> like you said, everything don't, shut the fuck up. Everything don't need to be fucking said at all. And I like the bully bullies as fuck. Cause at this point, hit me first. You the bully. I ain't gonna lie, I was trying to make everybody hit me first on my season. That's why I was in people faces and cause I couldn't fight. So But I like the bully bullies as far. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to like to know, uh, what was your first favorite song? Oh. My first favorite fucking song. So you okay? I pro you probably ain't never seen it, but it's a movie called Calamity Jane. It's about the first female cow cowgirl cowboy or whatever. And they sing this song in the movie talking about "Take Me Back to the Black Hills, of North Dakota." Like I love old ass movies. See, Marilyn Monroe, huh? No. I feel like I know this song. Take me back to the Black Hills, the Black Hills of Dakota, where the. Uh, where the Indians and, and yeah, yeah, I love that I song. Love it. Yes, I love that song. That's crazy. That's <laughs> like a distant memory for me. Yes, it's same because my great grandmother always had me watch like Tombstone, Purgatory, all the old like yeah. Western shit. So my people used to love the westerns. I mean, my people from Kentucky, Louisville, so. That's the, my great grandma. We love country music. Like, I love the Dixie, Dixie Chicks. Mm -hmm. I love country music. So, there you go. What was the most expensive purchase you ever made? Oh, shit. My child. That's a purchase. I decided to have him. I decided to keep him. That's a purchase. <laughs> I don't care what nobody said 13. That's how I be. He's taller than me now. He's well, I'm five, four and a half, so he but he about like five, six now. Mm. 190 pounds. Mm. So all you motherfuckers that want to keep fucking with me, <laughs> y'all better get it out the way before my slug get 18. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So not I'm not condoning it, but I just know my son. He don't play about his He don't play about it, and I'm not the he's and he's not embarrassed of me, not knowing it because. I talk to my son, you know what I'm saying? I'm very vocal with him versus, I wish my mother was a little bit more open. That way, maybe Miss Natural would've never been born on some real shit. I would've never been born. 
and the shit that I saw, I'm not gonna say, but a lot of shit that I've experienced made me who I am today, made me think, okay, this is okay, that is okay, and it makes it a lot easier with a boy versus me having a girl. Because if I did have a girl, yeah, Miss Nashville would not be, we wouldn't be sitting <laughs> Right now, at the maybe we would just in a different way. No. You don't think so? Mm. Some of people ever been doing that shit, doing a big one. I give it to them. everybody, especially Sankara. Like it's so many people. Ronaldo, Rihanna, Katrina, girl. I could go on and on and it's on and so on many and on. Doing a big one, Joshua, so. I go. I could go on. And you know what's crazy? My last year at Emerson, I was in the seniors' dances. I was a freshman with the seniors. So it started for me, because the gym and the dance studio linked together. So my last hour was gym. So we would only work out 15, 20 minutes. And the rest, we playing volleyball, basketball, whatever. So I started to ask, like, can I go? to the dance studio. It started from me sitting there watching them, me doing my homework, just warm up and shit, to me actually going to warm up with them. And by this time, we're starting on the the spring shows. So they was like, all right, y'all, this is the first day of choreography. Miss Davis like, all right, this is the first day of choreography or whatever. So I go sit my ass down, you know what I'm saying? She's like, where you going? <laughs> I said, you just said you started, ah, Brianna, Ariel, Sierra. You put me with Brianna? Bri okay, Brianna's a prima ballerina. Okay. Like, I know what that means. That, that woman Serious. Yeah. is ridiculous. Yeah, I know what and that means. And Sierra is just fluent as fuck. Like, so at this point, I'm like, <laughs> I'm panicking. I'm not gonna lie. That dance was so goddamn hard. <laughs> all of it. I remember one time we was all in the dance room, we was changing and shit. And they was going off. I'm talking about going off. I ain't gonna say no names who was going off. But Miss Davis heard it. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, she came in the room quietly. Well, that means we need to get back downstairs and work on it again. And I will see you all in two, three minutes. I'm just, and I didn't say, I wasn't saying shit, but I'm just looking at everybody's face. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I'm so glad I didn't say shit. Even though I'm saying it in my mind. Like, this motherfucking dance is huh, up to here. But You know, and me being somebody that be around dancers, mm -hmm. um, as I was, again, doing my research, watching the show, when Jocelyn sold y'all that dance, I don't know how things get edited, stuff like that, but the way they did it, for me to view it, for the public to view it, was that she showed y'all one time and then expected y'all to know it. I'd have been around, because like I said, I know a lot of Emersonians. I'd have been around dances and I didn't hear not a ka ka ka. Ah, ah, one, two, ah, ah. Is it the one, two, ah, or one, two, ka? No, one, two. Oh, wait, wait, no, you're right. I want two, ka. Everybody. Like, it was just. Way of counting. <laughs> so, for me, can you kind of like tell me, like, was it like how it was on the TV? Well, or was it? She she definitely did it one time and was like, okay, who can do that? But at the same time, Joss is not a trained, trained dancer like myself. Okay, yeah, she didn't have her little one-on-one -on -one classes and stuff like that, but I've been preparing for this shit all my life type shit. So you can't, yeah, I, you ain't finna have me volunteer and be like, yeah, I know it. Cause she was like, who can do that? And yucky, stupid ass was like, I can do it. And her dumb ass got up there looking stupid as hell. Stupid as fuck. <laughs> so, but really in the dancers world, they'll, they will kind of do that. They'll see if you paying attention. And I feel like that's what Jocelyn was doing too at the same time. But and usually for me when I watch dancers, they have most of the dance. It's them small, intricate parts where they like, hold on, that's wait. That's timing. You know, timing. what was that? Right, timing. That's all it is. You got to get your... You know what I'm saying? That's why we do count. That's why people do a ca I can't, I, I personally don't like the ca 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 kick cat. Yeah. I, I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, I do it if you my teacher. Okay, cool. But me personally, count to me one and two and three, four, whatever, how it is, count. Gotcha. She was mad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Yucky was so bad. <laughs> All right, so. 
Hold down. I'm not. <laughs> what's, the, what's the dumbest purchase you ever made? That motherfucking dog that I fucking bought and to sell, I bought that bitch for twenty eight hundred dollars and sold it for a thousand. <laughs> she had to get the fuck out. I bought her as a therapy dog because they say you got little dogs, you know, people holding their dogs and shit and taking them in everywhere. So that's what I wanted. So I got a bitch on free. That bitch act good for one week and after that she let her true colors out. Mm. This motherfucker. Was everything but her name. What was her name? Her name was Mello. Damn. But she was not that. All right. This bitch was pistol started. Dumb bitch. Bitch, where the batteries at? Like all types of motherfucker. Hellraiser. Her name was everything but her name. Mello. That was the dumbest motherfucker. Dumbest fucking three thousand dollars I ever spent. Of course, you know you got about a cage. The little and she had the cutest pink. Everything. All her shit was pink. I only like pink. But I'm like, oh, this is my daughter, this is my daughter, doc, doc, how do they say it? Doc, doctor, dog, 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 dog daughter, whatever yeah. the fuck. <laughs> they, they, they say it not to where they put it together. Yeah. Okay, I don't know how to say that though. Dog. Dog, dude. Shit, that was stupid know. as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> how, did you, uh, how did you come up with your name, Miss Natural? So, when I went to go try out to be a dancer, stripper, let's say that. When I went to go strip, um, I forgot about the part, about the name. I just wanted the job, that's it, that's all. She was, he was like, so what you gonna call yourself? I said, oh shit. And I literally just sat there like this, maybe like 45 seconds. He was like, I'm gonna let you think on that. So I'm back there. You don't wear makeup, you don't wear hair, you don't, Shit, you just natural, natural, fuck it. Natural it is. He said just natural. Yeah, motherfucker. Did I stutter? Steve, did I stutter? <laughs> At temptation. Too much fucking temptation. <laughs> uh, what was the final decision you made before making your first film? Come against that what? What was the final decision you made before making your first film? I didn't make no decision, for real, for real. I didn't think about it and I didn't have to think about shit. I was like, there's the opportunity, let go. I should have thought about it. I should have thought about me being a mom because my son does get bullied or whatever. But at the same time, it doesn't bother him to the point where, all right, I'm gonna lay my hands on you. As long as you don't touch me, I'm cool. Cause he understands my mother can do a lot of shit for me that a lot of these parents can't. I don't have to go to my dad and ask him for shit. My mom got me. And that's how he always looked at it. I've always made sure my son looked at me like his superhero. It was a point in time where I was feeding him with change and he didn't know it. All he knew was, it's fun to go put the coins in the machine and shit and we get money. Type shit. Right, he thought it was a game, so. I've always made sure my son stay, you know what I'm saying, young, God bless you, young, young-minded till it, till it was time to be like, hey, this is what your mama does. I don't want nobody else coming up to you saying this, this, that, and the third. You ought to be prepared for it. Because that little man, that he going to be something. Not, while, while I'm watching, looking at football, this is going to be my baby. He going to be on ESPN somewhere. Either baseball, football, bowling, y'all gonna see him. Cause mm. that he's way talented than I am. <laughs> Period. Play the tuba. <laughs> I keep going all about my baby. This is about you okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this is natural single? Yup. Spit and swallow. Both. Strap or scissors. Scissors. How did, you, how did you get into contact with Zeus Network and uh, take us through the audition process? So, I was trying to get a breath of fresh air. We ain't got me a room, chilling in my room. And I'm going through Instagram and I see the flyer for Jocelyn and shit. And it was the last fucking day, but it was after 12 o'clock. So I'm like, damn, I probably ain't make it. But I'm like, fuck it, I'm still send it in. What could it fuck out? And Tamika called a couple weeks later and 
let me know like I made this, this, that, and the third. And then even Jocelyn had called, you know what I'm saying? Got a little background and got a feel for us and shit. And Tamika called me back and told me I made it through again. Cause I guess it was like three steps. Yeah, it was like three steps. She told me, well, I'll let you. And then she told me she'll call me back in maybe another two weeks to let me know if I made it. I said, Tamika, I'll talk to you later. She said, what? No, I told you I will let you know. Tamika, I will talk to you later. I ain't, we ain't got to say nothing else. She's like, oh, okay. And season two here, there I was. What was it like behind the scenes off the camera with, uh I was trying to restrain myself from beating the fuck out of yucky ass. That's what the fuck I was trying to do. But I decided to let off motherfucking camera because I wasn't trying to embarrass my ass. So a lot of the time off camera, I was to myself. I didn't really fuck with nobody. As lucky say, I go in the back and smoke my thug blunt. Well, you see how I be rolling my shit. But go back there, smoke, chill. When it's time to work, it was time to work. But I was really more cool with the crew than I was with the cast, if that makes sense. Like Zeus Network got some, got some 100 ass motherfuckers that work for them, for real, for real. Shout out to the crew, y'all already know who everybody is. Right, on season two, we seen a little beef with Big Lex and Yummy. Is the beef still brewing and going to details about what even started on? So Big Lex, of course, we already mentioned the, the what's the day bullshit. But it's crazy, after that, after me and her did that, I was telling Tamika, like, let me, let me watch Big Lex. She was in the windows, talking about, I was like, come out, come smoke with me, come talk to me and shit like that. And she was telling me through the window, like, they won't let me, they won't let me downstairs. They keeping me on punishment. She was thumping everybody that night. <laughs> like, I'm like, uh, that throwing shit, I went to my room. <laughs> Soon as I saw glass, went to my fucking room. But it's no ill will against Big Lex at all whatsoever. Like I said, we got a mutual, well, I have a mutual respect for her. Can't speak for her, but cool with her. Yucky, Yucky just lied a lot. I can't even remember the, all the dumb shit she was lying about, but the main one was her age. What the fuck you lying about your age for, you dumb bitch? I'm like, what the fuck is you, the point of you lying about dumb shit for you in my room all the time you brought your toys in here you know i don't want to fuck you i like i like ass i don't give a fuck if you ain't got no titties but i personally love ass so you ain't got nail one of these things at all and then your face you just look old like why do you look that old <laughs> Like, I'm serious, like, okay, I got smile lines, but I've always had smile lines, you know what I'm saying? Especially since I've been gaining weight and shit, my cheeks been getting chunky. Yeah. So they, I, don't, <laughs> I thought black, us as black people, we aren't supposed to crack. At least our skin look good. You might be a funny looking motherfucker, but your skin supposed to look good. Yeah, at least. <laughs> that ain't it. What was Jocelyn like? Honestly, Jocelyn is actually sweet off camera. I think it's just a character with her. She's been on film for I don't know how long. But me personally, I feel like somewhere she got hurt bad. She ain't like that shit. And ever since then, she just been... It's up. Just been ugly. You know what I'm saying? I can relate to that. I definitely can relate to that. But at the same time, she... I go here, but she'll go you know, way up there with disrespect, like deliberate disrespect. I know. just said that to my, to my brother last night. What? That I was like, it's funny because a lot of time when you're watching, like even Love and Hip Hop, stuff like that, Jocelyn didn't necessarily start shit, but she always finished it. But she would just go to the fucking extreme, like, for one, she, why are you in fucking Jocelyn's cabaret to my hey y'all, I'm selling my handmade shirts. Hey, man. When I made, I you know kept, I'm, I'm like, this bitch Jocelyn, she petty, man. She, she's petty, but like I said, somewhere, like, with the season four, I seen a different Jocelyn. I can't speak for everybody else, but me personally, 
I seen a little bit difference in her. Hopefully, she, 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 she motherfucking cool with these goddamn confessionals. Cause you know, we, we see it just like everybody else see it. We don't know what everybody else gonna say. Of course we know what happened in the house, but as far as what motherfuckers got to say, that's why all the internet bullshit. That's what me and Jocelyn actually fell out. Cause when I left season two, I'm thinking we left with an understanding. You know what I'm saying? She's telling me don't don't let this bitch steal my moment and all of that. Cool. But then when I get to the when I watch this shit, I'm like these goddamn confet. I thought, just what? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I thought he was cool. You know, we were just talking about, you know, <laughs> how, how Jocelyn really is, right? So, yeah. it's some shit brewing around in the city since, you know, now that you are back on Jocelyn's cabaret. Do you feel like you owe the city an apology because you was going off on everybody for going to Jocelyn's show at Playoffs? So... I am not no motherfucker. I apologize how I said it. But I'm not apologizing for what I said. So what did you say exactly? That I said, fuck Gary and the other. I'll fuck with y'all. Y'all bogus. Whoever the fuck was at that goddamn concert. But what I should have said is, I really don't appreciate I understand y'all love her. She got fans. But at the same time, y'all, I'm from one of y'all. Then we from the same fucking, you don't understand this, this, that, and third. But I had time to really look back. Because you know they steady post shit of the old shit. Even when season three was going on, they still talked about how me and Johnson got into it. I could have definitely went about a lot of shit a different way on the show. At that time, it was three years ago. That's a lot of time to reflect and look back exactly so and a lot of shit happened to me in between so i had a lot of growing to do and for her to be like hey natural can come back if i'm the person now i have empathy i have empathy and i have humble tatted on my face for a reason i live by that shit when people come up to me and go, oh, natural this, can we get a picture? Hell yeah. I love y'all for loving me. Fuck is you talking about? I was in a fucked up position then. My mind wasn't right. I could not think straight for real. I got hit with a lot of shit at fucking once. So it just came off anger, 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 anger. Demolish everybody. Kill everybody in fight type shit. You know what? I apologize, Gary. <laughs> I apologize, Gary. I fucked that. I don't know nobody else that could have done that. I fucked that. I don't know. But the thing is this. Also, you know, that one club on Grant, it has a lot of Chicago people. So, That's uh, why that bullshit happened with the way it fucking happened in the motherfucking first place. We ain't going any goals in that motherfucking spot. Yeah, See, yeah, I was yeah. right up the street when that shit happened. Yeah. I, I heard everything. I, the, drrr, I heard the screaming, the hollering, police every fucking where. That shit was crazy. See, I was literally right there when it happened. And it's crazy. I saved one of my boys from going. He was finna go. Motherfucker sat and smoked with me in the car. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, it wasn't it it even a lot of us even in there that night. Uh, but I want you to talk to me about how you even got on the new season and uh, what should we expect? Ask that question again. I was fighting a whole flat, bro. <laughs> like, I edit that out. No, soon as motherfucker, you put in the bloopers. As soon as my folks open that door, that bitch came inside. <laughs> oh, look at uh, Talk to me about how you even got on the new season and what should we expect? Hmm. I mean, of course, motherfuckers called me. How I say, don't even touch with me. Called me, asked me what I do. I said, yeah. Uh, Definitely warn them, I am free now and off probation. So, now you can do as you want. <laughs> so, I ain't going for none of the bullshit. 
And yeah. That's that on that, huh? That's it. Do it. What's next for this match? That's honestly hard as fuck to say, cause ever since I cut my hair, the the opportunity's been rolling in like a motherfucker. They, from the smallest to, can we say schmedium? Schmedium, medium, large, grande. It's just been getting bigger and bigger. So all I can say is just watch, for real, for real. Cause I manifest everything that I do, so. Hey, I might get my own show now. I mean, I was gonna do my own show anyway, but they called me. And it's crazy, cause so I was finna pay 15 grand for a whole production crew and everything. My shit was gonna look like love hip hop. But some in my mind told me, hold off on that. Just wait, just wait a minute. And then two weeks later, they called me. So. Mm. There I am again putting on for the 219 again. It's gonna be. Y'all gonna see my growth. It is a point. Y'all gonna see why I'm pushed. Y'all gonna see why I'm trying to keep my cool. I'm counting to 10. Yes, I count to 10. I count to 10. I say my son's name over and over again in my head. Uh, I literally be trying to keep my cool for the most part. I literally have to be poked at just doing stupid ass shit to me in order for me to just go ahead and they even got one of the slow mos with me like that what a girl somebody you're a liar you're a liar boy i'm like i'm trying and all of a sudden i go boom on the motherfucking time i was trying to be cool i really was but y'all gonna see the growth this is the let me rephrase that i ain't gonna say that I needed to go through what I went through in order to get to the person that I am now. I had, I'm still learning, I'm still growing, but that anger, me just mad. For the most part, I'd be sad about the shit, but it take a lot for me to get angry as fuck. So I promise to put us on how I was supposed to this go around. God works in mysterious ways. He gave me a second chance for a reason. Well, let the people know where they can find you at and what, you know, all socials. So, my Instagram is MZ Natural Official, periods between everything. My Twitter is natural050 underscore 0501. And y'all ain't getting Facebook. That's only for friends and family and stuff. All right. Uh, make sure y'all got my OnlyFans too. Go on and drop that. Let them know what it's going to be. I was in the link in the bio of my Instagram. Oh, Miss yeah. Natural Official. Period. Between every word. How much that subscription? I think it's $15.99. And then I'll be doing sales and shit too. So. Well, we're going we gonna to do a vibe line sale. Perfect. Oh, shit. We're going to do a vibe line sale. Can we turn off this TV? Because yeah. every time I'm. Y'all know I like to sit here. And I, they kept talking about, I'm steady, like, what is y'all laughing at? I'm being sexy right now, and y'all laughing at me. They like, bro, it's balls on the screen. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm like, what is you talking about? They like, yeah, look behind you. They was like, everybody turn around, turn around. So I find, I'm like, oh shit. I forgot where I was for a second. Bitch at the porn and chicken <laughs> lounge, you know. I'm, bro, I was bugging out. And then I'm steady asking cuz. I'm like, bro, can we turn off the thing? Here come this nigga again. Shots. <laughs> what about this remote? So I try to go find the remote and shit. No, I no. give the fuck up. I'm like, I quit. I give up. I don't know what angle I'm going with this. I'm trying to block balls with my head and shit. Can't even snap. No. <laughs> But look, no, go ahead and see it. What? And she's like, cut off this TV. I'm like, what's wrong? I look over and see y'all laugh. All you see over here is. This motherfucker, <laughs> I'm talking about, he is drilling hot ass, and you just see balls just flapping. I'm like, bro, I can't, G. And then these black ass balls, I'm talking about, they 
Black. Black. <laughs> and he I wasn't even that black like that, but his balls was black. Yeah, oh. I think he needs to exfoliate. <laughs> and then the bitch really, she wasn't even shit like that. She <laughs> wasn't shit at all, for real. Her ass was moving, but when she turned around, I'm <laughs> like, oh, bro, turn this off. We love we loved amateur porn here tonight. I love amateur porn too. Reason why? Fun fact. I don't like watching mainstream porn. Maybe. I have to watch amateur because a lot of bitches' pussies don't be wet. It just be zipping, like sticking, like it be like pulling. Like I don't know what the fuck. Like an extra circumcised non-pussy, some shit is going on. Like like a sleeve that's not supposed to be there. Real pussy be wet. And be like, nah, that bitch got a, she got a pH problem. And be like, no, you click off of that one. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This one, okay, we can check out the creamy shit. Cool, this bitch, she a squirter. I like all of that shit, so, no. Yeah, you're teaching me. <laughs> what? You're teaching me. What you want to know? You just keep teaching me. What you want to know? Because I think I want to open up a podcast yeah, about sex. Yeah, I was going to say, man, you know, you know, go ahead and put together the little Who is sex, for real? Like. Would you say hookah sex? Hookah, hookah, hookah therapy sex, sex therapy at the hookah, hookah vibe. <laughs> we was just talking about doing the part. We're bringing you on. We, we're going to do that. Bet. You can be on. No, I want to be one of the regulars. I'm here you every week. You can be on it. Oh, okay. That's what I said. All right, fuck it. Hey, fuck it, man. This 21 questions. I want to thank you for coming out, Miss Natural. Love you, babes. Make sure y'all hit up. We out. That's a wrap. So now I gotta go to goddamn S and B's and shit.